Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at this Dell monitor. So this was another monitor I purchased on sale. This was on sale recently for $159. However, it looks like the price of it now is $299.99. Uh, this is a 27-inch IPS LED uh, full HD display with AMD FreeSync. Uh, the model number on this is S2721NX. So the box on this is a lot more vibrant than uh, the last one I looked at. As you can see, we actually have a picture of the monitor on here with the Dell branding. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what's in the box. All right, here's everything that comes in the box. So we, of course, get our monitor. We do get uh, part of our stand. We get the back plate to cover the visa mount. We get the bottom portion of the stand. We get an HDMI cable included, power cable included, warranty, safety, and regulatory guide, as well as a setup guide. So the bottom portion of our stand here actually has two mounts. These go into the stand like so. We have a very simple stand. You do have a screw here. However, you can just screw it by hand. And once it is tight enough, all you have to do is clap that down and then we can place it inside the back of the monitor. So Dell really thought of everything. So in the instructions, it tells you to leave the monitor in the box like so. So rather than putting it on a table and putting your stand in, they have you put it in here. How do we put the stand on? You simply fold down the flap like so. As you can see, they have left a cutout here where you can put the stand in. So you simply take your stand you have the, uh, looks like you just slide it in, slides in and clips into place. And there you go. Your stand is now on there. The last thing we have left, of course, is our VESA mount cover right here. Take a look at the back of the monitor. We have the Dell logo. We, of course, have this portion with our information as well as our VESA mounts. We do have that cover here. I'm not going to cover that because I just want to make sure I can get it out because I am going to mount this. On the back here, we do have our power. It is a traditional power cable that you would use in the back of your computer. So you can always replace those pretty easily, which is nice. And we do actually have two HDMI inputs as well on here. On the front of the monitor, you can see uh, we have a nearly bezel-less design. We do have the Dell logo down here. Just one uh, black strip down here at the bottom. Taking a look at the stand design, it's very nice, uh, very minimal, as you can see here. Um, you do have a little place where you could probably put your phone right there if you really wanted to, but this is a very nice, large 27-inch monitor. Now, one thing about this monitor, it does not have any uh, range of motion going up or down. However, do you do have tilt. So I noticed that some more basic monitors don't have this much tilt, so you do actually have a little bit of tilt here, which is nice to see. All right, so here is our monitor uh, with everything turned on. So as you can see, it's pretty bright and vibrant. Let's go and check out the viewing angles on here. So it is an IPS LCD or LED, excuse me. So we should have pretty decent viewing angles. You can see not quite as good as the Samsung we looked at uh, recently, but still pretty good. Not sure $300 worth though. All right, so we're taking a quick look at some video from YouTube here. So it is in 4K. Obviously, this is a 1080p monitor, so it's not going to show in full 4K. But we kind of get an idea of how this is going to look if you do happen to uh, stream some media. So this is going to go some various uh, views here. So we have a little dog. Got a person running here. We've got fire. Strawberries. So as you can see, we have uh, decent black levels here. Of course, this is an LED, so it's not going to have completely dark blacks like an OLED. Um, not, in not as bright and vibrant as, say, a QLED TV, but still uh, colors and everything look pretty good on here. As for our controls on the monitor, they are on the bottom here. You can see we have our one LED, so it is white. Well, we have just a few buttons down here. So we have our power button, which is differentiated from the rest of the buttons. Uh, but we have one, two, three, four, five buttons total. So we do have our power button here. Turn that back on. They are pretty small also. This button here, you can see, uh, does pop up with a couple different menu options. So if we click on this one, this is going to be our preset modes. So as you can see, we do have something right, right above it so we can actually toggle through. So we have movie, FPS, RTS, RPG, warm, cool, custom color, or back to standard, click the X here. 
take a look at the next menu. This is gonna be our input menu. So as you can see, it's on auto. So recognize whichever is the first signal to come in. However, you can go through and select the other HDMI if you do happen to have other things attached. We take a look at the third menu. That should be our uh, presets. So as you can see, we have our brightness and contrast, which is currently at 75%, 75%. I really do like that they have something above here so it tells you which one to press. You kind of know where it is. We have our input source, we have our color, and we have display. So you can see it's in wide 16 by 9 aspect ratio. We have um, 50 sharpness, normal response time. We have our menu, so we can change our language, the transparency of the menu, timer of the menu, uh, lock the menu, or reset it. We can go down and personalize. So you can actually preset shortcut keys. Uh, you can turn on or off the power LED. Uh, we have the preset modes, input source, on, in, on mode, and then other options. We have display information, uh, DDCI, uh, DDCCI, LCD conditioning, the firmware, service tag, and reset options, as well as a factory, a factory reset uh, for the monitor. And as you can see here, uh, this is a 1920 by 1080 resolution at 59.94 hertz or 60 hertz. And there you guys have it, a quick look at this Dell monitor. So again, uh, this was on sale for 159. I think at that price, definitely worth it. Um, traditionally you see these on sale, 27 inch monitors with uh, basic specs. So full HD IPS, 60 Hertz, basic kind of monitor, uh, usually about 150 for a 27 inch, uh, a decent one at that. So at that price, I definitely recommend it. At 300, I'd say that's pretty overpriced. Uh, there's nothing really that stands out about this monitor that says this is worth $300. Um, and checking out some of the current sales uh, right now on Best Buy, you can see that the prices of some of these monitors is cheaper uh, than this monitor or paying a little bit more, you can get even uh, UHD kind of quality. So definitely check your options. I do like the fact that it says two HDMIs. So you could connect multiple PCs or multiple inputs. So you can have a console, have your computer on here, uh, which is nice to see. However, there's no VGA, no display port. So only two inputs, but that seems to be the going standard for monitors, just two inputs, nothing else. But um, I do like the fact that it uses a standard uh, wall plug, so you can replace that with a computer plug if you do happen to have this get damaged in some way, so that's really nice. Uh, the stand on this is nice. A um, little bit of a pain to get off, you actually have to use a uh, screwdriver to take it off, unfortunately. But other than that, I think it's a pretty nice monitor. Again, 150 good price, 300 mm, a little overpriced. Uh, definitely be on the lookout. Uh, but if you find this on sale, definitely worth a look. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. I'll see you guys in the next one.